all, guys, we, uh, as you saw, that we got chopped there. <laughs> That's why you got to look at the time. You have to make sure that you're on time. Make sure that you're within the time limit. You have to make sure that you, you're, you're rocking and rolling in terms of time. That's why we did the, the piece. We added the piece there. It's called Time by Ashitoff, which is coming on right now in your background. Time, time. See, time is very important. Very, very important. And we got clocked right there on time. And we got clocked right in the middle of our weather broadcast and bringing you the, uh, the news uh, on the weather this morning from Street Now News. Wednesday morning, it is. It is Wednesday morning, February 24th. Your Street Now News, Terry Dwayne Ashford, your Jet, your journalist in chief, broadcaster, uh, and you're in the car seat. That guy, before we jump right back into the weather, we want to promote and tell you once again. That we are showcasing our Jet, our journalist in chief broadcaster, Terry Dwayne Asher. We're showcasing him, and that is what we're going to be running today on our live broadcast. It's going to be running on the end of the live broadcast today, and we want to make sure you have the opportunity to check that out. And I'll tell you why this came about where we're running the showcase on three or four days. We're not trying to be arrogant. Because really, to be honest with you, it's very, very difficult for us to show ourselves like this. It's very difficult for us to promote ourselves. We're so used to us journalists being humble and decent, moral individuals that we are uh, usually, we usually, we promote other people first. We, I, I promote you a whole lot better than what in the heck I am. I expect you to see me for who I am. I expect you to see it because I am it. Yeah, I, nobody can be me. Nobody can be a better being me than me. So that is really not only what I expect. That's just not only. That's what I believe that you are seeing. I don't believe you're seeing anybody else when you see me. No, I won't believe that at all. I don't believe one bit that you are seeing anyone else when you see me. I believe you're seeing me when you look at me when you look in the eyes of in the car see that guy Terry Dwayne Ashford it is my belief yeah I don't believe anything else it is my belief that you see me if you see anybody else then maybe you're delusional if you see anybody else then maybe you're hallucinating but it's me that's before you when you see me you got me are you with me here okay it's me that is before you when you see me I don't I don't believe that you're hallucinating. I don't believe that you're delusional. I don't have no no um, no ill feelings about you or about your uh, your sanity state. You're not insane. When you see me, who the heck are you seeing? You're seeing me. Period. <laughs> you ain't seeing nobody else. You're listening to Time right now by our backstage musician who goes by no other name other than Ashitoff. We want to thank Ashitoff for bringing us this backstage here. And we're going to rock and roll now back into the weather. We're going to close out our morning this morning because I told you I was going to distance myself for you. It's too early in the morning. You shouldn't be up anyway. If you are up, then this is the way that I'm distancing myself because I can't stay away from you too long because I love you like that. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. I'm your jig that we're supposed to love you. Remember time, remember time, yeah, remember time. The reason why I tell you to remember time because we got clocked, yeah, in the middle of our weather broadcast, and we having to come back with a part two right now as we're telling you to keep on moving. Keep on moving. Don't stop now. Keep on moving. We forgot about the time, so we're going to jump right on back. Right on back. Yeah. From time, we're now going to jump back to telling you to keep on moving and don't stop now. And when you don't stop now, which is where we are right now, we're now going to jump back into that weather, close that out, and we're done for the day. And we've accomplished our goals. I'm Terry Dwayne Asher, Street Now News. Give us give us one minute here and we're going to be right on back into that weather. We're going to close that out for you like we love you, like we're never going to leave you. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Who dies? <laughs> the gremlins didn't die. They multiplied. <laughs> I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, Straight Now News. <laughs> Y'all know who I am. I'm in the car. I see that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford Street Now News Jake. And you know I make myself laugh sometimes. <laughs> and I just made myself laugh on that one, on that very, very profound statement about the gremlins. <laughs> you know, when you stop moving, that means you're almost dead unless you're a plant, right? And then came back with a statement of <laughs> who dies? Gremlins don't die. They multiply. <laughs> And now we're going to move right on back into the weather for the day. We're going to make sure we don't uh, lose uh, 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 lose perspective on uh, time this time. <laughs> we're going to close it out on time. The right time, the right way. <laughs> when you were expecting it, just like you wanted it, just like you need it. And just like you now with Street Now News, got it! We're going to rehash the, the day, having provided you and our part one and our, of our weather for this morning, all the specs and the details of the day and of the week. Your news right now on weather is coming from Street Now News. Jick, Terry Dwayne Ashford, you're in the car. See that guy we're reporting for you here on the corner of Georgia Avenue in Washington, D.C. And Geranium Street right in front of the 7-Eleven right there. There's a, a funeral home right there. I hope we ain't got no death. We're looking at uh, 7348 Georgia Avenue, positively distinct in brown lettering at www.tcg.com. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, and we're looking at also Victoria's Marble and Granite Shop here. We're looking at a funeral home that we hope not a lot of people are dying. But you know, I can talk. Uh, I, I can talk. I can go on and on and on. We don't want to forget time. We're going to go ahead and close out this weather for you this morning with Terry Dwayne Ashford. Today is going to be sunny with a high of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 15.6 degrees Celsius. Winds going to be blowing from the south to the 12 miles per hour. Tonight, we're looking at mostly clear, mostly clear winds varying between 9 and 14 miles per hour. Uh, that's 14.5 to at 22.5 kilometers per hour. The overnight low for today, Wednesday, February 24th, is going to be 46 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 7.8 degrees Celsius. Again, we're going to say we're not going to forget time. Let's go ahead and jump right in on this air quality for you. Do you? Who knows? Who knows? Who remembers what the difference is in the air quality index that we provide you here at Street Now News and the allergy count, pollen count? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Well, let me go ahead and give you the answer here. 
uh, the air quality index provides you with the pollution rating, the, the rating of the pollution in the air, and that includes five things that is managed by Air Now and the Environmental Protection Agency that manages the air quality. We're looking at pollution, real pollution, yeah, real pollution. Real pollution includes carbon monoxide, carbon de- de- dioxide, nitrogen dioxide in the air. It's looking at all those things. It's looking at particle matter that is less than the size of a hair follicle in, in the air that can blow up your nose and go directly into your lungs and your heart and all that stuff and enter immediately into your your air or your respiratory system uh, in the streaming of your blood. That's what the air quality index is. The, the pollen count comes to those to those pollen things is really small. You thought was micro uh, uh, levels, but it's actually uh, pollen is a little bit bigger than than uh, the pollution that can go up your nose. Know, the pollen is, is, uh, can't go through the follicle. It's the size of a follicle of the hair. But that's what we're talking about here. While we're providing you with this information, we're keeping uh, the time right here in front of my eyes so we don't want to forget again and give you a part three. We want to close it out right here. And right now, right here, right now as you're rocking and rolling down George Avenue, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the air quality uh, report. Uh, that includes the allergy counts and the pollen counts. And then we're going to close it out for today. You're getting your news from Street Now News. Terry Dwayne Ash for your journalism chief broadcast. Esther. Make sure you check out the day that showcase the showcase of Terry Dwayne Ash shirt. You're a jick, so you know why, 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 why that particular person was chosen. They made him in the car seat, y'all. Made him, they made him live in the seat of his car. <laughs> made him live in the seat of his car, and he's still rocking and rolling, bringing it to you. <laughs> Terry Dwayne Asher here. We're coming in with the air quality uh, report for the day. We've provided you with the weather for the day. Again, the high is going to be a beautiful, beautiful 60 degrees today. But the air quality right now is at 36, which means that the air quality is generally acceptable for most individuals. But there are some sensitive groups out there who might experience some minor to moderate symptoms due to long-term exposure. So you limit your your exposure out there uh, pertain, uh, as it pertains to the air quality index, also as it pertains to the pollen pollen count pollen count pollen count deals with allergies the things that you can feel blowing up your nose that's bigger than the pollution we're looking at tree pollen low we like ragweed pollen low we're looking at the mold the mold that that grows around there it also blows into the air the mold is low the grass pollen is low the dust and dander pollen right now is high give you a definition of what that what I don't think we saw high. I think we saw moderate. Yeah, Dustin Dander is moderate today, not high. I got a little ahead of myself here. What does it mean uh, when, when we tell you that it's moderate? Well, moderate. When it's moderate, that means that sensitive groups um, uh, who are have, have sensitivities to pollen uh, will um, will begin to experience uh, mild to moderate symptoms that includes stuffy noses watery eyes and congestions and we want you to plan your activities even your medications if you're on medication if you take some over-the-counter drugs or whatever the case may be you take your medications and according to the fact that we're providing you today that we have a moderate rating for dust and dander in the air all the others is going to be low for the day but for dust and dander it's going to be moderately moderate for the day Okay, okay, I think we met that time period. We've got 33 more seconds, and we're going to go ahead and close it out right now. I'm Terry Dwayne Nashford. I'm your Street Now News Chick, and now you check out that showcase as to why in the car seat that guy, Terry Dwayne Nash, who goes by no other name, why he was selected and picked to be your chick. On that note, you have a wonderful day. The date is February the 24th, Wednesday. <laughs> 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 <laughs>